Hello and welcome to MedTech Pitch, where over 100 startups will be selected to showcase their products and initiatives throughout the multi-week this coming November. And joining me today is the CEO of Meggy, Nina Sesto. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for the invitation. It's a real pleasure. And to kickstart this process, uh, you are to answer five set of questions in a span of three minutes. So once again, welcome and congratulations for being a part of this. Now tell us, what is, what is Meggy? Okay, so let me start with why. Um, so did you know that almost half of the adult population has high blood pressure? And hypertension is a chronic disease. On one hand, very easy to diagnose and treat, and yet less than one in five patients have it under the control. And what most people are not aware of is that high blood pressure is a precursor for development of all other cardiovascular diseases, and as such is a leading cause of premature death worldwide. And the underlying problem really is a disconnect between doctors and patients when they are at home. So at Magdalena Clinic, we treat more than 20,000 cardiovascular patients each year. And what we wanted to do really is replicate this cardiology expertise, digitize it, and make it accessible to patients 24-7. So basically, that's how Maggie was born. She's an AI cardiovascular health assistant that was developed in close collaboration between cardiologists, AI experts, patients, and psychologists. So basically, she has this medical expertise but also the capacity to engage patients because she's proactive. Maggie speaks with patients on a daily basis. She monitors their blood pressure and medication. She supports them if they feel any symptoms and she educates them about their disease. And then basically at the back end, Maggie analyzes this data and if necessary, alerts our telemedicine center and then the doctor takes over connects with the patient and provides the necessary treatment. So basically our patients love Maggie. We've achieved 98% adherence over a period of 12 months in two healthcare facilities. And as a result of that, the hypertension adjustment cycle dropped down from six months to several weeks only. Oh, wow. I would love to meet Maggie. This is extremely revolutionary. Thank you so much. And what difference can this make to the medical industry? So basically the real magic is that with Maggie, one doctor can monitor thousands of patients at the same time. And for us, hypertension is just a start. Basically Maggie can learn about any other cardiovascular disease. And this is a powerful tool with which we can scale those amazing results finally increasing the capacity of healthcare providers, resulting in better treatment outcomes and eventually reduced costs. Because currently the direct cost of cardiovascular diseases is more than 100 billion each year in EU only. That is fantastic. And what makes Maggie different to everyone else in the market? Well, what's... What really makes us stand out is the fact that Maggie was born and developed in Magdalena Clinic that is specialized for cardiovascular diseases, provides full diagnostics, interventional cardiology, cardiac surgery, vascular surgery to thousands of patients each year. So we have this strong focus and expertise on heart disease. And at the same time, while other companies struggle to test their products in clinical setting or they face some regulatory issues they don't, don't know how to address, we basically have this sandbox environment where we can safely experiment and develop the tech with our end users, patients and clinicians. And basically that's fundamental for a successful digital health product. And on to your future goals, where would you like Maggie to be in two years' time? Well, in, in two years, I would like to have this discussion with health insurance companies, to have them as partners, because it's really them who have the power in their hands to scale such services and make it available to every patient out there. Um, and benefits for health insurance are multiple, including market differentiation, 
low risk of underwriting and control over cost of claims. But in the essence, really, they need to turn from passive payer to actively engaging with their customers to help them to help them actually stay safe and healthy. Um, and I, I strongly believe this is the only way for them to remain sustainable in 10 or 20 years when 30% of EU population will be older than 60. All right, and lastly, for an icebreaker, tell me something about yourself, Nina, that not many people know about you. Well, um, I, I think many people don't know that before becoming a health tech entrepreneur, I was actually a scientist. Uh, with PhD in molecular biology, I worked as a researcher at Pasteur Institute in Paris, uh, working on CRISPR elements and RNA-mediated regulation. So in my heart, I'm still a scientist. And uh, what, what makes me really proud is that we discovered a new molecular mechanism of gene expression regulation that we called excludon. So like coining the new term in science was, uh, was quite cool. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Well, Nina, that is another side of you that I'm really impressed about. Thank you so much for meeting me today. And I truly believe that Maggie is revolutionary and groundbreaking in the medical industry. So I wish you all the best uh, and your team. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you in November. Thank you. Thank you. Now, there will only be one lucky startup candidate that will benefit from an investment ranging from 25,000 to 500,000 euros. Do you have what it takes to bring that check home? It is not too late to register. Apply now at medtech.world and we'll see you there.